If you ever watched the Jetsons, you may have dreamed about dodging traffic with a ride in a flying car. Well, thanks to tech developments in the self-driving and electric vehicle space, the dream of flying cars or electric air taxis is getting closer to reality. And many countries are now making investments in advanced air mobility initiatives a top priority. So what do investors need to know about this growing market? Joining me to discuss all this and more is Robin Leinberger, He's the leader of the aerospace and defense industry practice at Deloitte. So Robin, you know, when we look at the advanced air mobility space, I think for consumers right now, a lot of the technology they're familiar with are some of these novelty items like uh, the Uber air taxis or some of these Amazon delivery drones. But can you talk a little bit about the significance and the importance of advanced air mobility and how much growth is expected in this market? That's a great question, Alexis, and thanks for having me today. Um, so advanced air mobility really is, is an ongoing initiative uh, that results from the innovation and application of new technologies to aviation. And to your point, we're starting to see the convergence of some of those technologies in the space that's helping create these new vehicle types that is allowing us to move today cargo and in the future people, as you said, in the flying car space, in and around rural to suburban areas, to the inner urban and, and around the urban environment. So it's quite exciting. Yeah, and I think especially, you know, since we saw last year with, with the COVID crisis and the pandemic, just keeping that supply chain moving and intact, you know, how can this technology really enforce that? Well, what it allows us to do is to get out of the, the urban traffic or the suburban traffic and do much more point-to-point -point solutions so that as we've seen more people ordering online, trying to stay out of, of, of high-touch environments, allows that we call the last mile delivery to happen. Um, but it's not, as you said, just the, the drone aspect of the smaller vehicles. It, it really promises to help us do that at much larger scale, both for cargo and people. As we looked at this market, we, we uh, surveyed the market, talked to a lot of, of executives. And what we learned is that we're on the track by between now and say 2035 to actually have human-sized cargo capacity moving people in and around these areas. And the market looks quite good. It, it looks like uh, we could achieve $115 billion a year by 2035. And to kind of put that in perspective, that's about half a point on our GDP and would represent 30% market growth in the current aviation space in the United States alone. Yeah, it's an incredible size market. And as you said, it's really a convergence of a lot of technologies that a lot of growth investors are already familiar with, such as 5G, uh, electric vehicles. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about some of those technologies and the infrastructure that would need to be developed for a widespread adoption of, of this air advanced mobility type technology. Absolutely, and, and you really hit the nail on the head. It's about building out the infrastructure today. The technology for the vehicles, as you, as you mentioned, is, is there, it's being integrated and tested. The next thing we need to turn our attention to is building out the physical infrastructure. That would mean the ground infrastructure, call it a vertiport, the necessary electrical grid in order to feed that, and then we have to put in the infrastructure that would allow us to manage the aircraft, unmanned traffic management systems, to augment the current air traffic management system so we can both integrate the airspace and interoperate these aircraft safely, as well as put new coverage into much lower altitude with many, many, many more vehicles flying at the same time. In order to do that, you mentioned the 5G, that's a candidate technology to deal with the communication side. The more autonomous the vehicles are, utilizing concepts such as AI and cognitive makes the, the traffic management more, more viable. And then when we think about building out the, the communications infrastructure on the 5G is, is obviously another one of those elements of the base infrastructure that would need to be put in place. Right, and as you said, you know we're looking at a, a potentially major U.S. market, at least, with this type of technology. And, you know, so what sort of investment opportunities do you see in the sector in addition to some of some of the ones that we just mentioned? Yeah, well, I think first, you know, the, the area of infrastructure, building out the physical buildings or repurposing the existing, building out the grid. Uh, next is investment uh, opportunities in building out the 5G or its equivalent communications grid. 
Next is the air traffic management is, is perhaps taking a more novel approach than rather than the government running all of air traffic management, looking at, at how in these uh, environments in and around the urban areas can be served by commercial companies and, and interoperate and integrate in a way that we don't do today. So building out the air traffic management infrastructure, uh, certainly in the vehicles themselves, the major pulling together the vehicle. And of course, really what that is, it's about designing, developing, and then integrating a supply chain. So there's great investment opportunity in the component parts as well, the materials, the software that goes on board, the sensors, that sort of thing. And then ultimately when the infrastructure is ready and the vehicles are ready, there'll be the opportunity to invest in being an operator of those vehicles, uh, providing uh, not only a movement of cargo, but creating these platforms or services to do everything from imaging to infrastructure protection, right in, up to and including serving our uh, public safety and health by being able to move medical uh, uh, needs, as well as providing our first responders with air ambulances, other ways to do rescue and, and, and search and rescue, things like that, that we're not able to do today. Well, Robin, it's such interesting technology and thank you so much for your insights today. Well, thank you for having me. And for more of our tech coverage, you can head on over to investors.com. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alexis Garcia. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.